Hello class, this is Dr. Mike with a few minutes of Linux. And I really wanna focus on a few essentials of VI. Uh, VI is, or VIM, V-I-M now, uh, is really the sort of essential text editor um, that's found all over Linux and Unix. Uh, there are several text editors. If you have a GUI, there's always gedit. Emacs is a real popular one. Um, Nano is a more or easier text editor that might be installed, um, but VI is really everywhere. So it's hard to become a total expert of VI, uh, especially with this a one session class on it. And even myself, I've used VI for years, and I still use it. Uh, there is things you have to look up. This is the essential app where you need a good reference. So uh, besides having a good reference somewhere online, uh, which are several, um, if you find one you like, save it, bookmark it, find a PDF of it. I've had this one for years. And I uh, used to actually have it printed out and stuck on my cube wall when I used to work um, in an office. So uh, find what works for you. There's books on it. But I want to get you around and show you the basics of it, just so you can do a few things. You can either, one, get in to a file, make a change, and you can leave and save or leave and don't save. Uh, I think those few basic essentials will help you get around with VI. So let's first talk about VI here. I made this quick little diagram here showing you the modes. VI operates in three modes. Uh, when you first open a file, either a blank file, new file, or an existing file, you will be in command mode. Think of command mode as the cursor is hovering above the text and interacts with it below. As you move around the screen, you're not actually interacting within the text, you're sort of above it. And there you can append, delete lines, change words, and again, the three dots here means there's a lot. Yeah, you can find all kinds of stuff here, cutting and pasting, replacing. Uh, there's tons of commands here that you can use. Um, so I won't get into all those, but at least in this mode, you're sort of above the cursor. Uh, the one key itself, the I key, will put you into insert mode. Insert mode is literally the typewriter. You're in, you're in the text, you hit a space, you insert a space, you type hello world, you get hello world. And so an essential key that you use within VI is our escape key. That will bring you back out of your insert mode back into command mode. So I to go into insert, escape to get back. And we'll demo that in a second. The other mode is our last line mode. And here we can issue commands to the entire document. So for example, um, to get into that, you use the colon key right here. And at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a colon opened up and you will put in commands like X to save and exit. And by the way, these commands are case sensitive. Uh, Q exclamation point to quit without saving and W to save and continue to work on the existing document. And then again, there's several of these here. Um, as you go along, uh, saving and quitting. So you can see there's several, several <laughs> uh, ways to interact with the, with the document itself. So you know, uh, in this example, there's a, a colon in front of this quit command here. And it sort of tells you that it is from the command line, the last line mode, that you can actually execute these commands as well as you can go ahead and, and from this tune, you can like do a search and replace for the entire document. So I can do a colon, uh, S slash the old character for the new character or new old word, new word. I can replace, um, do entire find replace, either on the entire, the entire document or just a line. Again, there's tons of these commands available. So again, if you find a good reference, uh, hold on to it. And again, a central thing here is to get escape to get you back to command mode. So let's demo this real quick. So first off here, um, let's talk about entering a file for command uh, to, end, to edit in VI. So I want to show you a quick thing here. And it's real important why to understand I'm home sysadmin about who you are, your user and permissions. You can see here I have a file called test2. I'm sorry, test1.txt. And it's owned by root. And it's read write for root and read for everyone else. So I VI 
test1.txt. The key essential here is, is read only. Now, if I don't notice that and I start typing, and you can see, but luckily, this is uh, the new Vim VI has actually added warnings now. It used to be you never saw these in the old days. You just would start working. But still, if you're not paying attention to the bottom of the screen, and uh, S2, S3, and so on, and I go to save and quit, it's read only. So um, you find yourself then having to do a save as to another file that you own. So to avoid that hassle, let's just go ahead. Go ahead and quit. The way that has to understand who you are and your permissions is to the file before you start. So this way I don't get into a uh, shouting match with, with my terminal screen. So I, know I, need to, I need to become root, root user or ask the root user to make this read write for everyone else. So it's just to avoid some, some confusion in the beginning. So let's go ahead and talk about entering VI now. So the command is VI. And if it's a brand new file, new file. And there's no extension really needed. I know I do .txt. It's just sort of a common practice. Um, we don't need an extension at all. We can call it new file .poo if we want. So again, we have a new file here. Um, this is our file name. And we are at the top of the screen. And this, these little pigtails here, those aren't actually in the file. It indicates non-blank spaces. It's just the fact that the terminal is so big, we need to fill in the space. Uh, these are not saved in the, in the file itself. We actually have nothing inside here at all. So currently I'm in command mode. If I wanted to start typing, I hit, hit the I key, and you can see I go into insert mode. Now I can type. So, hello class, enter, um, one, two, and yada, yada, right? So again, I started in command mode. I hit the I key. I went to insert mode to do my typing. Now I'm, I want to go back to command mode. So I hit escape, and you can see the insert is now gone at the bottom of the screen here. I'm now back in command mode. And here I have all kinds of options. Let's say I want to delete a line. So again, think of the cursor that's hovering above the text, and we're going to interact it below. So I do DD, and the line is deleted. DD again, and now I replace that. I re delete that blank line. So I want to enter last line mode. I want to save and exit, let's say. I'm happy with this, with this work. So I hit the escape key to be sure I'm in a, Command mode, shift, colon, and you can see here, uh, now the last line opened up, and I can X to exit and save. And if I do L dash L, there's my new file dot poo. <laughs> Again, the extension does not matter. So if you interact with an existing file, this VI test 2.txt. Again, there's already text inside here. Let's see how it's going out and make some changes. So again, I'm in command mode. Again, we entered a file. We start from the top. We're in command mode. I can change a word, append to the line. Again, find a reference. There's a lot of stuff we can do here. Um, copy and paste and so on. And walk through the lab itself too. I think this lab actually has some good steps. This we'll go through and talk about. Uh, some of the different ways to interact within VI. Yeah, you, yeah, undo and so on. So this looks just this will give you the tips, but I just want to show you some basics here. So again, I go in this file, let's say I do insert. I'm in insert mode now. So I hit the I key. Again, hit the I key. I'm in insert mode. I'm gonna to add to this file. Add some text to this file. Enter again. It's like a normal typewriter. <laughs> Just age myself to my same typewriter. Yeah, it's like a normal terminal. So I think this is good. And yada yada, right? 
Let's say I'm done. I hit escape. I hit escape and go back to command mode. See so the insert indicators off. And I go, yeah, I messed up. I don't want to change. I don't want to save this. I need to get out of this file. So I can hit escape here. I go to last line mode. You can see again. Colon key, last line mode. And I'm going to save without quote without saving. Or the Q exclamation point or also called Q bang. So now I'm just cat out test2.txt. You can see I did not make any changes. Again, if I did want to save changes though, let's do this. Again, I'm in command mode. And we, again, you enter a file in command mode. Let's delete the smiley face. So I go DD. I'm going to go down to insert mode. Hit the I key. I just jumped from running the DD command. I'm going to jump down to insert mode. And I'm going to type Hello world. And I'm going to save and keep working. So I'm going to go ahead and issue a W. I'm going to write to disk. So everything we do in VI is in memory. So it's important as with any kind of word process, you just save early and save often. So um, again, a colon key here. I'm going to write to disk. You can see it's written lines and 44 characters have been written to disk here in the text test2.txt. And I hit escape and I'm back in command mode. So I've saved it. It jumps back to command mode. And let's say I want to change a word. CW is a good one. I'll show you again. You sort of operate above the text. And I say, you know what? I'm going to do a CW. And put class and hit escape. I just actually replaced a word with CW. Again, I can't say enough how uh, good a uh, good reference is. Um, editing text and so on. And if you do mess up, there is the undo last command. So you do have an undo command. So let's say I do, which is the U, lowercase u. And one change from, 20, from 28 seconds ago. <laughs> so it even tracks how long ago it was done. So again, I'm back in command mode. Let's do a DD, delete that last line. So we have a nice and clean, easy file here. Now I'm happy with this, again, escape. Just to be sure I'm in command mode, I always tap escape. So I know I'm in command mode. Again, I'm gonna do the colon. I'm going to X, save and quit. Now if I cat test2.txt, you can see now I have there's the original file up here. You can see I've changed it, and I'm done. So I think if we think of uh, VI in this context, this triad of, of modes, um, you always come from the top, you're in command mode. Again, think of the cursor hovering above the text. You can interact with the document or the text below. And again, there's a lot of things here to look at. Uh, R to replace one character and so on, DD delete line, CW change word. After you use VI for a while, you get to know a handful of these just, just by using them themselves. For example, CW, I use that a lot, so I can get that one. Of course, I do the I key. I go into insert mode. And I saw actually the append key also drop me into insert mode at the end of the line, too. So append sort of has a quick, uh, a quick insert there. So insert mode, you're in typing mode. It's like a regular uh, text editor. Escape key, very important, takes you back to command mode. And then our last line mode here with the colon has a ton of different ways. So remember the basics, uh, X to save and exit, W to write to disk, so save and continue, or Q exclamation point to quit without saving. So again, I can go in, I can do my work and save and keep working, or do my work, save and quit, or save without, uh, quit without saving, in case I messed up. In case I'm not happy with my with my results. So again, follow the lab. There's some really good stuff inside here. Um, the 9.1 lab for the VI editor. Again, if you find a good reference, uh, feel free to share it. Um, I'll try maybe post the one I had forever here. Um, 
an e-learn shell, so you can have that, but you'll probably find one you'd enjoy. So again, um, that's some basics of VI, and hope that was helpful, and have a good day.